Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this file. They evidently already have a vector file of it, but I don't. They want it from black to white, and this is really easy. But I'm going to go ahead and trace it. I'm going to go to resample. It's already a 600 dots per inch, which is good or really good. Convert to a bitmap, convert to black and white, and then go to bitmap, outline trace, clip art. And it did it that fast, and it's a good vector image. But when you move things around, you can see a box around it. That's a little telltale sign that it has a white background. So we're going to draw a yellow box, and there it is. So this is really easy. I mean, there's a number of ways you could do it, but the easiest way to do it would be to take the black and see. Well, let's back up here. Go to range group and ungroup and then take the black and you can't really get it all at one time but you could let's do this let's move the yellow box over let's set our nudge distance on let's see how big this is it's um, it's just an inch so let's just set it on two inches let's just move the black over black over black over black over and there's a number of ways you could do this and then take all this and turn it white. And really, I don't know if that's what he wants. But we're going to make it white. And then we're going to make this black. I don't really understand what that hole is. It's part of the drawing. Let me see if I can't ungroup that. No, it's just part of the drawing. But it shouldn't affect us. Let's turn it black. Let's grab our white back. And there it is. Now, if you're going to print this, that might work. If I was going to engrave it, I wouldn't want that. I would want this. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's nudge that over. Let's nudge all the white back over. And I do not understand why that's there, but it doesn't really matter. So we're going to select all this. And we're going to left click no fill and right click a hairline. And then we're going to nudge it. Well, we're going to take this and left and right. And that box is there and that might cause a problem, but it's not really. It's just because it's part of it. I would just delete all the nodes. And when you get to that edge, right click and make them a line. And then I would go ahead and delete that node anyway. Then I would take this object and put it back in. And then I would take my Smart Fill tool and have it set on black and fill that in. And then, of course, I would select it all and left click, no outline. There you have a good, clean graphic. And this will not engrave, but the black will. But you could do it either way. If you're going to print it, I've been lately getting more and more requests for people that print. So you might want a white. I have no clue. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.